Launching a rocket is hard, but there are some parts of launching a rocket that are harder than others. If the rocket you're launching is not reusable, lifting the rocket off the ground is the hardest part. However, if you plan to reuse the rocket like SpaceX, landing the rocket is harder than even taking off, and when your rocket is as large as the Starship, landing it is many times harder. Recently, SpaceX has been working with the FAA to figure out the best way to recover and reuse the rocket without causing damage to the environment, and they have come up with some interesting ideas. We will talk about this in this video. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. The Federal Aviation Administration and SpaceX are usually known for their disputes, especially when the time for Starship launches approaches. The tension between the two often increases due to the FAA's strict regulations required to grant a launch license. But recently, SpaceX and the FAA have been working together on the future of Starship and how to reduce its environmental impact. They've come up with plans to use Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida for Starship operations. This includes building new infrastructure for launching and landing and exploring various landing options. SpaceX's exciting plans for Starship include using a drone ship for landings, similar to how they handle the Falcon 9. Imagine Starship, the world's largest rocket, blasting off, separating its booster, and then landing it vertically on a drone ship out at sea. While this sounds great in theory, the reality is far more challenging. Landing a rocket booster on a drone ship is already a complex and difficult task. As evidence, just take a look at the early problems SpaceX faced with the Falcon 9. The Falcon 9 booster lands on a drone ship in about eight and a half minutes after launch. This involves precise calculations, real-time adjustments, and flawless execution of the booster's engines and grid fins to guide it back to the ship. The Falcon 9 booster has nine Merlin engines and uses grid fins to control its descent and landing. Starship, on the other hand, is significantly larger and more complex. The Super Heavy booster, which is the first stage of Starship, is equipped with up to 35 Raptor engines compared to the Falcon 9's nine engines. This sheer increase in engine count and power means more variables to control during descent and landing. The larger size and weight of the Starship system also mean it generates significantly more heat during re-entry and requires more robust thermal protection systems. The time it takes for Starship's booster to return and land on the drone ship is estimated to be around 10 minutes or more. The increased time and distance translate to more challenges in terms of fuel management, trajectory adjustments, and dealing with the Earth's rotational effects. Additionally, the grid fins on Super Heavy, which help in controlling the descent, need to be larger and more robust to handle the increased aerodynamic forces. Another challenge is the landing impact. The Super Heavy booster, being much larger, will have a higher landing velocity and mass, requiring the drone ship to be stronger and more stable. The drone ship itself must be upgraded to handle the increased size and weight of Starship's booster. It will need reinforced landing pads, advanced stabilization systems to deal with ocean currents, and more precise positioning technology. Additionally, the Starship booster Super Heavy does not have landing legs. Unlike the Falcon 9, which deploys legs to stabilize itself upon landing, the Super Heavy booster is designed to be caught by the Mechazilla arm on the launch tower or land directly on a drone ship without traditional landing legs. This means that the drone ship or the tower must be precisely equipped and positioned to catch the massive booster without the aid of landing legs to absorb and distribute the impact force. While SpaceX is dedicated to refining its Starship rocket and making history in space exploration, Boeing is grappling with a series of issues. Now they are in serious trouble as they struggle to bring back the two astronauts they sent to the International Space Station. The launch of Boeing's Starliner has been a journey filled with multiple challenges, even before it successfully docked with the International Space Station. Initially scheduled for earlier dates, the first crewed launch attempt on May 6th was scrubbed due to a valve issue in the Atlas V rocket, which regulates the pressure on the upper stage. This valve was found to be malfunctioning, leading to a last-minute cancellation. 
Following this, the launch was rescheduled but faced another delay on June 1st, when a computer card issue in the ground launch sequencer caused an automatic hold just minutes before liftoff. Engineers identified a problem with the power supply unit in one of the ground control computers, necessitating the replacement of the faulty component before another attempt could be made. Despite these problems, the Starliner successfully launched on June 5th from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Aboard the spacecraft were veteran NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who were tasked with testing the vehicle's systems in preparation for future operational missions. The spacecraft reached a safe and stable orbit, docking with the International Space Station on June 6th. Now, you might think the issue has ended when the spacecraft docked with the space station. But the challenges continued to mount with technical issues and delays that have extended the return mission. Initially, the Starliner was scheduled to return on June 18, 2024, but this was delayed due to the need for additional preparations and spacewalks that were originally planned for June 13. These spacewalks were subsequently canceled due to spacesuit discomfort. The return was then rescheduled to June 22, 2024. However, this date also faced postponements due to ongoing technical issues with the spacecraft. Specifically, the Starliner experienced helium leaks in its propulsion system, which required further investigation. Again, on June 18, NASA announced another delay, pushing the return date to June 26, 2024. However, experts believe that the mission will be delayed even further, as Boeing still does not seem to have fully understood the underlying problems. This leaves us with only one reliable option, SpaceX. SpaceX has consistently proven its reliability launching its Falcon 9 rocket almost every week. The company's track record includes numerous successful crewed missions to the International Space Station using the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Since the introduction of the Falcon 9, SpaceX has completed over 200 successful missions, and unlike Boeing, which has struggled with continuous technical problems, SpaceX has maintained a strong safety record. SpaceX's Falcon 9 is so reliable that when companies face significant issues, like Boeing is with the Starliner, they often seek help from SpaceX to ensure the safe return of astronauts. For example, in December 2022, the Russian Soyuz spacecraft suffered a significant coolant leak while docked at the International Space Station. This incident raised serious concerns about the spacecraft's viability for safely returning its crew, which included Russian cosmonauts. In this emergency, NASA considered using SpaceX's Crew Dragon as an alternative return vehicle. The Crew Dragon spacecraft launched atop the Falcon 9 rocket and successfully docked with the International Space Station, where the stranded astronauts were quickly transferred aboard. Following meticulous safety protocols, Falcon 9 safely returned the crew to Earth. However, when it comes to the Starliner, Boeing does not want to be rescued by SpaceX. They view this as a significant humiliation. Having a newcomer like SpaceX rescue the oldest commercial space company from disaster. Boeing has a long history in aerospace, making it one of the most established names in the industry. It started with a capital of just $100,000, but quickly grew into a giant, playing a significant role in space exploration. By the time SpaceX was founded in 2002, Boeing was already a giant with a market capitalization of over $70 billion, boasting extensive experience and resources in aerospace engineering. SpaceX started with much smaller capital, but rapidly gained traction due to its innovative approaches and successful missions. Both Boeing's Starliner and SpaceX's Dragon were developed under NASA's Commercial Crew Program aimed at creating a cost-effective transportation to and from the International Space Station. NASA awarded contracts to both companies. Boeing received $4.2 billion, while SpaceX received $2.6 billion. Despite receiving a larger sum, Boeing's Starliner has faced numerous delays and technical issues. Initially expected to be operational by 2017, the Starliner program encountered a series of setbacks that significantly pushed its timeline. Meanwhile, SpaceX, with a smaller budget, managed to complete the development of the Crew Dragon more efficiently. 
SpaceX's Crew Dragon had its first successful uncrewed test flight in March 2019, followed by its first crewed mission in May 2020. Since then, the Crew Dragon has been used for multiple missions, earning the title of the safest spacecraft in the world. The fact that both Crew Dragon and Starliner were developed under the same NASA program makes Boeing's situation even worse. Despite having a larger budget and more resources, Boeing's delays and technical issues have resulted in SpaceX emerging as the more reliable and capable partner for NASA. You might be wondering, how can giants like Boeing handle a spaceflight situation so poorly? Firstly, Boeing's internal issues have significantly impacted the Starliner project. The company has been dealing with a series of quality control problems, including those seen in their commercial aircrafts. Unlike SpaceX, which primarily focuses on rocket launches and space exploration, Boeing's vast business portfolio spans commercial aviation, defense, and space. This diversification means that Boeing's leadership and resources are often spread thin across different sectors. The company has faced multiple crises, including the grounding of the 737 MAX and production issues with the 787 Dreamliner. Many experts believe that NASA should reconsider its investment in Boeing Starliner and halt any further funding for the program. Boeing has already incurred significant losses, with estimates of around $1.5 billion beyond the NASA contract. It's understandable that NASA aims to prevent a monopoly by not solely funding one company. However, there are other reliable companies aside from SpaceX that could fulfill NASA's requirements. For example, Dream Chaser Project is nearing its first orbital flight test. This spacecraft is very different from others like Starliner and Dragon, offering unique capabilities and design. Dream Chaser is often referred to as the Mini Shuttle because it is designed to be reusable and can land on conventional runways. The Dream Chaser can carry both crew and cargo, and its horizontal landing capability sets it apart from the vertical landing approach used by both the Starliner and Dragon capsules. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.